National Editors Forum, SANEF, has announced that it will launch its ethics inquiry into the media industry. The inquiry will be headed by retired judge Kathleen Satchwell. We're now joined in studio by Kate Skinner from SANEF. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Can you talk to us about what the terms of reference will be for that inquiry? Yes, yeah, sure. So um, we're going to be looking at, well, the, in fact, the um, panel will be looking at a number of issues. The one issue is ethical breaches. Um, the other one is looking at ethical codes and ethical practices in the newsroom and ways to strengthen it. Uh, and further, what the panel will be doing is um, interviewing a number of stakeholders. So they'll be um, speaking to editors, they'll be speaking to media owners, um, and of course, a whole lot of different sectors. So for instance, you know, business leadership, um, union leadership, um, civil society, groupings, um, in order to get their views also around ethical issues um, and the media and how the media has covered those various sectors. Mm -hmm. Why would people be compelled to go to the inquiry? So, they, you know, it's not that the inquiry has any particular subpoena powers or anything like that. But our sense is that um, there, there are issues around credibility. The media is incredibly important. Um, and people want to see themselves in the media. Um, and um, so we're hoping that people will, will basically put forward their views and submissions. But also the panelists will then go to particular sectors and to particular people and request that they actually put forward. Their, their, their views. Um, the hope is that, that the media will then be more credible and more ethical in the future and that will benefit everybody. So our sense is that if the panel particularly goes to uh, particular individuals and organisations, that they would probably feel that it, it was something worthwhile doing. Mm -hmm. If you're investigating such a large issue and such an important and sensitive in, uh, issue, the panellists have to have credibility and experience. Talk to us about a few of them and how they were chosen. So we went through a long process in terms of the SANEF Council um, and we had a sense that, um, you know, Judge Kathleen Satchwell was somebody that was, um, you know, very fair but quite hard, not somebody that was going to give the media an easy ride. Um, Nikiwa Bikicha um, and Rich McCondell are no longer part of the media but have extensive understanding and knowledge of the media and we felt that, you know, that that, that combination of that knowledge of the media but not being part of the media still would give them, you know, a kind of arm's length sort of view, but also, you know, would be able to deal with all the nitty gritties and the complexities that I think they'll have to deal with. Mm -hmm. There was concerns about capture of the media industry, uh, capture of journalists and capture of certain papers. What is it to be captured in terms of the media? So it's a very good question. Um, so I think captured is when you you basically are not reporting in the public interest, um, that you um, are ad adhering to particular views and and particular interest groups. Um, so you know people will have different political perspectives, but the fact is that when you are um, actually beholden to that particular political perspective or that particular grouping, and then reporting not without fear or favour, but actually reporting in terms of the interests of that particular group grouping, then the sense would be that you were captured. And so we want to look at that and, and, and specific ethical breaches around those kinds of issues. So what happens if people are found to have breached these um, ethical issues or problems are raised? What next? So the panelists we're going to have to deal with with that particular issue, but but our sense is that we don't want it to be a witch hunt. So we don't want you know particular individuals to to kind of be um, specifically pinpointed. But what we want to do is to look at the deep structural issues around how to improve those the, 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 those ethics. So it's very much forward looking. It's like how do we improve ethical codes? How do you, how do we strengthen them? Where are the gaps? Where are the gaps in in in, in editorial practices? And looking specifically at those. Um, and in fact, the industry adopting an action plan post the, the, the panel's work. So there's a, there's a very fierce contestation, particularly now around the media industry, who is credible, whose information gets listened to, mm. who gets listened to and who gets protected and defended by SANEF. How yeah. do you make sure and how do you say that you defend people equally and do you do so?
Yes, and you're right, we are under attack. Um, and, and that is particularly why we wanted the panel to be arm's length from us, so that they would specifically look at a whole lot of, of, of people that feel that SANEF doesn't necessarily cover all, all of their interests. Um, and different media houses that might not necessarily feel that, you know, we, we, we give enough credit to, for instance. So, so that is the whole point, is to make sure that we don't have these huge divisions within the industry. Because I think it's, it's particularly damaging when we fight amongst ourselves, where media institutions and journalists fight amongst themselves. And we're hoping that the process will be healing in the end. And that is, yes, so, so, so we, we have tried to put it at, at arm's length so that people feel that they can go to those, those panelists and speak to them very honestly. When you're dealing with the issue of ethics, particularly in a media landscape that's changing in terms of funding models and who mm. funds you, an issue that's come up around SANEF is George Soros funding part of your operations, mm. I think just before elections. Mm. The same also applies to certain media houses who are perhaps funded by private individuals, funded by the government. How do you deal with the issue of funding and doing your work ethically and where's the line? So I'm hoping that that is one of the key issues that, that, that the panelists are going to look at. And my sense is that what you're needing to, to do is to be as transparent as possible. And certain media institutions are very transparent about who they get funding from. Um, and we try to be as transparent as possible in terms of saying, you know, this particular funding was, we got this funding, we got it from these, this particular grouping, and it was for this particular project. Um, and so I think that those kinds of issues are absolutely critical, and we want them to be on the table, and we want to look at them. We don't want to, to, to kind of shy away from that. Let's go back to the panel. How do you make sure that when you're looking at these very important issues um, that you have a mix of views across the board so you don't have a set of an echo chamber almost among your panelists who are going to be deciding on these very important issues? Well, I think it's it been interesting because, I mean, at this particular moment, as you're saying, things have been incredibly hot, if I can put it that way. Um, and so I think that the panelists are fully aware of where, where those divisions lie in terms of media houses, but also journalists. Um, and, and they have said specifically that they are going to make sure that they go and speak to all the media houses and where, for instance, the rogue unit story is very, very controversial, um, that they would speak to all the different parties that, that and, and they and get their different perspectives on that. Um, and so, uh, you know, our sense is from, again, at arm's length, that, that they, they would, um, I mean, their integrity is on the line. Judge Cathy Satchwell's, you know, integrity is on the line in terms of those issues. Um, and so, and I also think it's fairly clear, you know, where the divisions lie and therefore that you have to interview all of those different people and all those different interests. Kate Skinner from Senef, thanks so much for your time on SABC News tonight. It's time to take a look at some sports news.